There's no end to Sri Lanka's economic woes. President Gotabaya Rajapaksha has declared a state of emergency, giving sweeping powers to security forces. The government has also beefed up security in Colombo after public anger boiled over. Meanwhile, the Indian government is providing aid to the neighboring country from rice to diesel. Cops clashed with hundreds of protesters after vandalism and arson by protesters. The locals are protesting against repeated power cuts that are happening across the country as the government is unable to pay for fuel imports due to lack of foreign funding. A cup of tea is the most essential thing to start your day with. But here in Sri Lanka, amidst of this massive economic crisis, even the rates for the cup of tea has gone massively up. The black tea, which used to be cost some 30 to 40 local currency rupees, have gone up to 60 to 70 rupees. The milk tea have gone up to 70 to 80 rupees. And some places, even more than 100 to 150 rupees. Now, that explains the furious crisis, the economic crisis here in Sri Lanka. All the basic essential items, including the foods, uh, food items, since the delivery mechanism has been affected adversely, there is supply line which has been totally disrupted as there are no fuels available in the market. Clearly, the food items have been hit the worst. There's no water, and when whatever is available, the rates are, have gone totally. And that is now killing the people most because the soaring inflation and that to multifold when there is, of course, no supplies, smooth supply. This is affecting the people of Sri Lanka and that exactly has led to the massive protest and outrage against the government. In Colombo, I am Ashutosh Mishra for India Today. How does this mean for a common people in Sri Lanka in this uh, crisis? What are the people uh, facing? Well, the thing is this, right? The basic cost of living has gone up significantly. Even the gas prices have gone up like about, by about 50%. 50%? Yeah, so the average, I am a middle class guy, so I can manage still, it's not easy, mm. but the lower class and the, those are the majority of the people. I heard there is even crisis of the drinking water and you are carrying one, how much you are paying now and how much you used to pay earlier? Uh, the thing is, uh, I think I am paying a bit more now, he knows, because I used to buy another brand. Now that is not available also because of the crisis, Okay. isn't it? Uh, even because, the water is not available? Yeah, because there is a brand called Crystal that I buy, now mm. they don't have that. A lot of the things that they used to bring before, they don't bring now. Hmm. They can't. Are you getting fuel also? Fuel? No, no, no. It's not available in the market. No, no. So, which are the basic commodities, if I could ask you, that are not available in the market or there is a crisis of it? Right. Which are the products in your uh, store with not available easily? Do you have milk stock for the children? Yeah. Milk. No, milk. Hmm. Medicines? Medicines. Oh. Medicines, uh, butter. Hmm. Uh, water. Hmm. water. Uh, Those supplies are not coming. Eggs. 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 Yeah. So what I am told in the supermarket, and this is perhaps the picture all across the country, not only in Colombo, that there is crisis of the essential items. Now, store there you see all the cosmetic stuff filled up. But what you would need is the milk powder for the infants, for the babies, for the kids that are very poor in the stock. That's are mostly, in fact, not even available. These are the flavored stuff. But the basic milk powder is not available. Subsequently, eggs not available. Medicine rack are totally deserted. And that explains the furious situation here in Sri Lanka that essential delivery, essential delivery of the, uh, you know, the crisis has led to the, and that's exactly why the people in the opposition blaming the government, Rajpaksha government, for the mismanagement that has led to the massive economic crisis. So he. My colleague Ashutosh Mishra is now joining me live from uh, Colombo. Ashutosh, we saw that report that you filed about the complete uh, absence or lack of scarcity of uh, essential items in the markets in uh, Sri Lanka. How is the government tackling this economic crisis? Does it have a plan? What it looks like, the government is totally clueless. And that's exactly what it seemed, that to contain at least the protests, the Rajpaksha government, the president first issued an order, you know, first uh, restricting any sort of uh, protest and that they impose, you know, uh, the rule here. And from 6 uh, p.m. onwards, now in just five minutes from now here, the curfew has been imposed till, uh, you know, Monday, uh, Monday morning, because t uh, tomorrow on 3rd April, there's a massive protest called by 
the opposition alliance group all across Sri Lanka, not only in the capital city, but also by the civil society, the local people. And just, you know, uh, minutes ago, I was there at the Rajpaksha Stadium outside. If you see these deserted roads explaining a lot of things, there is no public transport because massively due to largely the fuel crisis. And now the people have hit the street demanding the, the resignation from the president. So be it the opposition or the people, largely they are adamant demanding the resignation from the Rajpaksha government. What major allegation is that from the government, from president to the cabinet minister, it is the Rajapaksha family that is ruling. But when it comes to the dealing and resolving this massive economic crisis that started from 2019 and particularly they are bl blaming the commercial loan that they borrowed from different countries and largely from China, which should not be the case that when the government is taking commercial loan and that has not been paid, their forex reserve has declined totally more than 80% forex reserve had ended up and their government do not have to pay the bills to even you know import the oil and okay. subsequently this is a similar case also for the larger business industry here in Colombo they cannot pay the bills for the import and that has led to the massive crisis if you see the supermarkets they have run out totally out of stock of the medicines the baby food the dry milk powder fresh milk fruits supply vegetables everything has been hit even it was very difficult for us from to you know to uh, from airport to reach a hotel out. and at the moment let me show you one picture this this explains if I would tell you that in a capital city like Colombo which has been largely you know totally flooded with the tourists there is no electricity at the moment in the hotel and if I could just enter this part the, I have to go on the fourth floor in my room but the lift is totally running out of power there is no electricity in the hotel you cannot use the Wi-Fi since there is a diesel petrol right. crisis the communication network has totally been devastated there is no data network that's working okay it seems like systems have... completely having collapsed in Sri Lanka it remains to be seen what sort of action the government finally takes in order to put people out of this distressful situation Ashutosh thank you for joining us